lobster tail for dinner? That sounds fancy. I want to share my easy recipe how to make lobster tail. They're so good, so juicy and easy to make. At first, preheat your oven to 450 before making these. I'll get a lobster tail and I'll give it a gentle squeeze on both sides. And you can hear a crack sound, but be gentle, you don't want to break it. And then I'll be using scissors to cut the shell of the lobster. But don't cut all the way, stop at the fin. Then open the shell and take the meat out. So first I will separate the meat from the shell on both sides and then I'll pull it out. And when you pull it out, lay it on top of the shell. Don't forget to remove the vein, you don't want to eat that. It does take me like a minute to take the meat out because the shell is sharp and I'm trying not to break it, but it's totally worth it. Okay, here you have it. And then you're gonna repeat the same process. You're gonna crack first, then cut through the shell. Then separate the meat from the shell. Pull the meat out, remove the vein and lay the meat on top of the shell. And then put them on a baking tray. And then I'm gonna salt them. I don't like to do a lot of salt just because you can over salt them and I don't like over salted seafood. So once they're baked, you can add salt to the butter and dip them in salted butter if you need to. And then I'm using dry garlic powder. Garlic combines with seafood very well, so I'm gonna be generous with that. And then I'll add some paprika on top. and sprinkling some dry dill on top. I have about one tablespoon of butter, melted butter, and I'm brushing on top of each lobster tail. So you wanna really get the butter everywhere. You wanna have a lot of butter, so be very generous. Butter will make the lobster tail to stay juicy. Lobster tail cannot be standing in room temperature for a long time, so your oven should be hot and they should go in the oven right away. Bake them at 450 for about 16 minutes. And this is how they will look. I melted about one tablespoon of butter and I'm brushing it on top of each lobster tail. It makes such a big difference. Please don't skip this step. And that's it. This lobster tail was so juicy, so flavorful, and so fancy. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Subscribe for more and I'll see you again soon.